All right, and once again, welcome down to the third installment of the Sisoff Singer Songwriter Edition on a Saturday today. The one of the few times we actually do it on a Saturday, and you know what? I'm missing my football tonight. It's the opening night of the English Premier League, but that's all right because we've got one of my favorite artists. Let's all put it together and Zarina Zar. <laughs>
of misery. Shut your mouth, space to pray. Love me deeply, understand my needs, but you can't control the way I want to live. All right, it's all here at Zarina Zar. Thank you very much. Oh, welcome down, Zarina. Welcome down to Soft TV. We we'll certainly hope uh, you know it was great to have you on on uh, Soft TV, and um, you know, thanks. Uh, I know you it, was, it was for you just for the benefit of uh, all the soft TV. Zarina's got an incredibly busy schedule, and we were you know really lucky to be able to, to nail her down for t- for tonight's performance. Um, let's start off by actually introducing uh, the, the members of your band that you have with you tonight to to everybody out there in Soft TV land. Sure, uh, I'm blessed to have uh, the musicians assisting me right now. First up, we have Slick. That's S L I C K Slick. <laughs> slick on guitar. Okay. Yeah, that's right. All right. Uh, with guitars, uh, lead guitars. And then we have Hari at the back with keyboards. It's Hari on keyboards, He's okay. He's a dual musician. He's also playing bass for me tonight. So. Um, next up, we have John with drums. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> I hit myself. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's a first on so <laughs> TV. <laughs> that's all right. And that will, of course, be added yeah. into the blooper edition at the end of the year <laughs> when we come out. Well, you know, uh, I've... Um, been looking through your soundtra- uh, SoundCloud collection, uh, Zarina, and you know you've got an amazing collection of songs. But I think your story goes way back, way way back to like the uh, uh, late nineties, was it? Oh yes, it uh, was. The we late we 90s. both actually grew up from the big old generation, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you want to tell everybody actually how you all, how it all started for you for yourself? Um, I kind of uh, dreamt of an all girl band back then, so I put up an ad and I searched for the uh, musicians uh, turn out to be girls. <laughs> yeah. Was it? And, and w- at this fir- was at first I wasn't really thinking <laughs> of that, and then later on, as you know, one by one the bassist came in, and then uh, the guitarist. They're all female, so I get I took a shot. Right, and this and was the flying this, uh, flying pills, band. was it? Yeah, we were called the flying pills back then, mm. and uh, yeah, we've been. And um, we did a lot of gigs. And we were featured in Bigo a lot, and we also. And what year was this actually Bigo in 1997. 97, okay. yeah. Yeah, and. Um, yeah, I think so. Like, like I said, we're both uh, alumni of the Bigo movement at the time. <laughs> of course, um, you know, I was in like a fair bit earlier than you, probably 91, 92. Okay. That's a long time ago, you know, and and of course now I'm 24 already. So <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. time flies. Yeah. <laughs> So, so what was it like? What was it like? You you got the the girls together. How how many pieces was it? A four piece. Yes, it was a four piece. And it was called the Flying Pills. That's right. And what actually gave no. you the inspiration to have that name, the oh. Flying Pills? We we were not on drugs. Trust me. Okay. <laughs> we uh, the ex guitarist. She kind of like she was doodling one day. You know, she drew a pill and then she put wings on it, and then she's okay. like, "Hey, let's let's call ourselves. See, the pill can fly." Wow! And I was like, okay, cool. And that like also became the the emblem for the band, or, <laughs> or something really. like that. Like, yeah. And so, so what happened? What and what was the genre of the the flying pills? What kind of music did you guys play? And and you know, how did it all come together? Um, it's pop rock, and okay. uh, that's how we showcase our genre. And we were like, we we also got a lot of interviews back then. Mm. We were also featured in some magazines and uh, Straits Times as well. Uh, right, right. We also got our songs uh, on air. Oh, oh, which channel was it? Oh, that, that back then it was Passion 9, 9.5. Ah, okay. 
And, uh, so it must have been a, extent, yeah. you know, from one musician to another, you know, who had our, our songs uh, aired on the radio. It must have been a fantastic feeling to be listening to your songs oh on the radio yes. for the first time, right? <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I, I can imagine that. You know, it's such a nice feeling. Yeah. So, so what happened after that with the flying pills, and you know, how did you move on from there? And I'm we kind of went separate ways right, okay. because <laughs> everybody's got different agendas. You know. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. The ki- always the case. Uh. I guess they're, they're not in music anymore? Or no? uh, I you, you haven't kept in touch with them, yeah? Only two of them, uh-huh. but I couldn't get in touch with the guitarist. Right. So, Melissa, if you're out there, hi. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so, when did you decide that it's time for a comeback, to come back into the scene? And to to you know make uh, music again, y- re-record your songs if it be. I guess uh, I was, I'm, I'm still itching to write music, so mm. <laughs> I guess that made me come back, and you know, uh, continue to create new songs and stuff. Mm. I guess the passion is still there, and you kind of miss performing after a few years. Yeah. And what was the main you know? Uh, catalyst for you to actually make this comeback? I mean, you felt like you avoid in your life and you didn't have music or... Yeah, it's like, uh, I guess if the passion is there, it it will come back to you, you know? Mm. Uh, you, you, you have that break and then um, mm-hmm. if you still have the drive, then... Uh, okay. And uh, would you consider yourself more of a consummate songwriter or a performer? Uh... I guess because I've why I'm asking you this because I've heard your songs as I mentioned in SoundCloud I've, I've and ran through all your video clips on YouTube and all that and you've got great songs um, Thank and you. yeah and um, you know and of course you've got also great stage presence so the, hence why I'm asking you know like which is the thing that does it for you more you know the songwriting process the creative process the recording process or the actual rocking out uh, you know uh, for for all these shows live shows. Um, I guess t- the uh, actual stage performance is mm. something great for me. Yeah, you get the I, I look forward for to that. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, and uh-huh. you know, I've got to share this with everybody uh, out there in Soft TV land. I first uh, met Zarina when she did an appearance on uh, one of the eco um, causes, which I support a lot, the, the Green Beats movement. And I and I, d- I hadn't I didn't know Zarina then. And uh, I made the cardinal sin of any kind of uh, MC or announcement. <laughs> you know, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Zarina Zane. Friends and of Zane. And, 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 uh, and I apologize. I, I, I apologize to you, I think, half a dozen times, oh, maybe come more. On. And I'm going to apologize to you again. You've got another again. nickname, no problem. You know, it's so, so embarrassing. <laughs> uh, but uh, anyway, um, which c- it actually comes to my you know next question now. So uh, you you do believe in the eco cause, right? Uh, yes. That you've done, uh, you know, mm-hmm. and you you perform some eco based songs for that event as well. Uh, not uh, at the moment. I, I was performing originals. Okay. So that was my first. Uh, uh, green and and of course, event. I remember you did have a good shout out uh, uh-huh. about the eco movement. And oh, um, <laughs> is this something that you believe in? Yes, definitely. I. I uh, it's what I practice. So I, I get see. I, I oh. suppose I I it's oh no harm oh. sharing, you know. With the well, crowd. that's that's fantastic, you know, that's, and that's very uh, thoughtful of you. But could you share with us uh, some of the ways you actually uh, and the, the things you do, the you know, the practices that you have? Well, I just uh, donate, you know, uh, stuff away. All right. Yeah, and um, if it's still in good condition. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so oh stuff for for recycling and all that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, good. So we'll definitely hope to see you in in more uh, you know editions of Green Beats as well. Okay. Yeah, and I'll definitely promise to get your name one hundred percent right this time. <laughs> 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 no worries about that. Yeah. So anyway, coming back to your career, um, after the uh, what do you call it, the uh, the flying pills, and then you you went solo. So right now it's basically a solo thing that you're doing. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And um, have you got a fixed band, or you're still trying to f- uh, put together the the you know the the basis of the group, all in together? Have w- you? Or are you still working with uh, session musicians? So I'm still working with session musicians. Okay. Presently, um, the one that stayed the longest is of course the guitarist. Mm. Uh, <laughs> we've okay. been together for a few years. Um, mm. The rest of them are mostly sessionists. Right. So okay. Okay. Yeah. So I guess they'll be sessionists for your upcoming. Um, of course, al- I, I I do wish they'd stay, 
I mean, if they believe in the music, and you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, def- yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. So, and um, you know, I've uh, this is this is saying in in the community that uh, you know you you got a lot of um, uh, LNS Morissette uh, influences. Uh, oh is that gosh. is that true actually? <laughs> Yeah, I got that a lot. And okay, how, how so did that all come some about? Sometimes uh-huh. they say, I guess it's the influence. Yeah, yeah I grew up listening to Dolores oh, okay. from Cranberries, and later on Alanis. Right. And I I really like the way she writes her music, mm-hmm. so I kind of picked yeah, up yeah. on that. Yeah, I could just imagine. What was the title of that first song you performed? Uh, possessing me. Yes, yes, the one I've that I've heard that a lot, and and I you know I could just picture you know. LNS doing that kind of song, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Uh, and, and was it, uh, you know, when you wrote the song, was it also angst inspired as well? Oh. Um, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Okay. But um, are, are you? Do you want to know the meaning of the song? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Please share if you want to um, share. If you if you're uncomfortable, you don't have to. But well, it's um, um, it's about someone being under control of a possessive partner. All right. You know, okay. Uh, yeah. So I can definitely relate to that. Yeah. Yeah, that significant yeah. other is trying to break mm. free. Mm, okay. Okay. I see. I see. Right. Right. And so you know, let's just quickly jump into the next song that you're gonna perform. You wanna quickly tell us the title and and what what is? Or are you gonna do the the duet thing? Uh, the, sorry, the medley thing or? Uh, we're doing duet. <laughs> okay. No, we're doing the single, which you is called th- Moody. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Zarina Sahar. I 
mug into a steer I had the way stuck into the sofa I had your kiss possess a bit of flavor I had your guts you're just an imitator I don't think I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you yeah, yeah. Nobody can take that space I need I just let me be, just let me be down, 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 down Just let me be down Just let me be down, 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 down Zarina Zarwin Moody. Well, that, that's another beautiful, beautiful song there, Zarina. I'm going to talk uh, to some of your, your musicians uh, right now. And, um, Go right ahead. Yeah, let, let's Ask talk. Anything you want. <laughs> let's talk to Slick. So, Slick, you got a mic right there. And, uh, you want to tell us uh, well, you know, like, um, uh, how long you've been playing with Zarina and uh, you know, how's it been going so far and, and what's your role in the band and stuff like that? Yeah. few years. Yeah, for <laughs> a few years, about four or five years or something. Right. Yeah, so my main role basically is because basically I'm an arranger for her. She, she composed the song and then she, uh, I arranged the ah, song. Ah, I see, her. I see. Okay. The okay. thing is, the thing is, initially she doesn't want me to play, I mean, doesn't want me to arrange for her, you see, because she got, huh? she, she, she plans to use the keyboardist uh, okay. section, uh, keyboardist to, to, uh, arrange to arrange for her and all that. I see, I see. Yeah, I so uh, after, after, uh, after, uh, a few sessions uh, of mm-hmm. trying out the keyboards and all that, she found out that she cannot, she cannot work with moment, uh, with the majority of the keyboards. So mm-hmm. that's okay. why I took I, I took some steps out and I then see. I just you no know, just you no know, just just took the initiative and then just do the, the arrangement. If not, I I, I, if not, it's like she's not going to go anywhere. See? Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, so that's what that's what happens. See? Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's it. right. Uh, okay. <laughs> So your role is the the lead guitar player and the arranger. You arrange the songs, um, exactly. Uh, yeah. All the songs for the album, and uh, yeah, actually all the songs, right? Uh, I think it's all the songs, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's all the songs. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah it's cool. Yeah, so you know, sometimes you know, and uh, I don't mean any disrespect, Zarina, to this, but sometimes when you actually work with a different, uh, you know, individual, I found recently I've worked with some. Somebody, in fact, the Soft TV alumni people, Deb- Deborah Tan, then she did uh, arrangements of two of rearrangement of two of my songs, and and it came out sounding really fresh and and really interesting and nice. So, so you know, a whole different perspective uh, to the song, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. I mean, it's like initially, you know, when when she, back when she was in Flying Pills, it's not it's not as as, as like hard rock kind of style, oh yeah? hard rock melodic kind of style. Uh-huh. But you know, when when I come when I came over when when she started her new project and all that, right. so it sounded very different than Flying Pills. I mean, if you if you if you've seen if you heard of Flying Pills, I no, I've heard of Flying Pills. I know that they're the uh, uh, rock band, but I haven't had the chance to listen to their videos. Yeah, so. I'll, I'll <laughs> pass you an album. Oh yeah, oh, that that would be good. Yeah. An <laughs> autograph it for me, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We had all the people on on self who you know autograph the albums and all. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and, and so yeah. how's it been so far this whole project that you're doing with uh, Z- Zarina yeah well we have our ups and downs okay to, to be honest with you I mean it's like every every band has problems mm-hmm. so but this is your main project I mean you're not playing you're not sessioning you know, you're not playing with a, a different band or something and just you know, mm. you're in it for the long haul that's what I'm saying for the whole album and yeah yeah in a way you love. Yeah, I, I, I used yeah. to play in a metal band and then it's like okay. uh, and then after uh, after that that band doesn't work out so okay. I ended up like focusing more on her, her 
right. that stuff is it so it's yeah. cool yeah yeah it's good stuff okay i mean i don't i, I the thing is i'm i'm more of a like like one person uh, what can i do I, i'm not a multitasker kind of kind of okay. musician you see so i don't i don't really like to focus much so if i want to focus if i want to focus on my energy and all that so mm. i rather focus more on my on 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 one thing at a time yeah yeah, yeah. so i i'm not those type of musicians who play in so many bands and all that okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah i know who you're talking about so yeah. <laughs> no no i'm not talking about you sorry about that yeah no i mean yeah, yeah. No i mean i mean i mean that's just how i work say no yeah, that's not, good I mean, and I, and i've seen the videos yeah uh, of you guys performing together i've seen you guys live yeah. uh, you know at green beats and and yeah you you know you really actually at Uh, with your your solos and your 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 guitar lines, yeah. you add a lot of um, how would you say feel and depth. I would think yeah, to the yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, so I did it. It's good. You guys really complement each other. Yeah, complement. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> right. Okay, so. and um, so basically, I want to quickly talk to you about the rest of the your your musicians, and uh, you know, are they in for the long haul as well? Maybe we'll start with our your, your keyboard player over here. <laughs> oh, here you go. Hey, um, hello. Uh, my name is Hari. Yeah. Uh, my name is Hari, and I've been a part of a uh, very nice band for uh, the past eight months or so. Ah, okay. Just recently joined, and right. it's been a great journey. Uh, it's always been a pretty new uh, learning experience as a whole. Mm-hmm. Uh, personally, uh, I used to get amazed by the way uh, how. Uh, Zarina and uh, Fan, both of them uh, write the songs a- as well as the arrangement for the songs. Mm-hmm. So uh, I feel they've got a very great sense of uh, chord progression and stuff. Mm. So the way uh, how they generally c- compose the song and they how they arrange the whole song as such. And in addition to that, they also uh, welcome uh, fresh ideas. Like uh, say, for example, suppose if I come up with something new or something which is not there in the song, which something can be added to the song. Mm. They always used to welcome the, those ideas, which I believe has always been a source of value addition to the album as such. Mm. So, okay. uh, just looking forward to work so working with the team see, for a long see, time. So, you will be on the upcoming album? Yeah, of course, yes. Oh, I don't know if I should be. <laughs> I, I feel so blessed. No, it's right it's now. totally really up to Zar. So <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really good. Uh, Given a chance, I would always love to work with this yeah, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely, definitely. I think having a keyboard player in a in a hard rock band definitely makes a different, gives the band an extra edge as well. Uh, different sounds, different feel altogether. You know, uh, instead of having like all you know two guitars, rock guitar all the time. You know, I always I feel that way as well. Yeah, and uh, I I noticed that you've got your bass guitar with you today as well. No, I'm just filling in for, uh, for the bass player. <laughs> Okay. No, we basically thought that this song will uh, be more uh, catchy if we do it in the bass rather than doing it with the keys. Mm, so right. that was what we decided. And Al- although we I'm were discussing beforehand uh, if you could play bass with one hand and the keys on <laughs> no, <come laughs> with on. the other, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that would be really impressive <laughs> if we could Then do we that. Then we call him Octo Hari, you know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you go. <laughs> okay, wait. Mm. Okay, now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> maybe we should try it out sometime later or <laughs> maybe for the next time yeah you can but not on self tv <laughs> of course <laughs> <laughs> okay great let's move on to uh, your drummer zarina and maybe you like to just quickly tell us about yourself and your role in the zarina za project hi i'm john um my role is just to play drums <laughs> <laughs> and uh okay. and I, j- i just yeah and i yeah la, because i'm new to them so uh I just kind of uh, like join them from for six months, so um, I had f- a fun time learning the songs and um, got a lot of new experience to like for this and for other gigs. Right. And yeah, I uh, like to thank them. <laughs> no, we thank we thank you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for coming on board. Yeah. Mm. So yeah. so, what is Zarina like in the studio? Is she like the boss? You know, Bruce Springsteen, no, the boss, no, no. Or, or do you guys actually have a fair exchange of ideas and a fair, you know, discussions? We going we on? have we have like she will ask us for opinions mm. and like um, you have to do this song first or like how does it sound overall? Or this okay. she she she's she does not really take the lead like very. Wow, the boss, the leader, and no, 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 no. yeah, no, no, no. yeah, yeah. We we have a say also, lah. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. That's good. Yeah, mm, very very nice. She's very friendly. Yeah, mm, that's, <laughs> that's good. And of course, we hope that you'll be on the on her album as well. 
Um, uh, yeah, oh, like, I would like to fix it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, it depends on the, how the interview goes, right? After this, whether he's on or not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Thanks, thanks so much. Thank you. Okay, coming back now again to you, Zarina. You mentioned that you were going to do four songs uh, only for tonight. Yes. Only four songs. Yes. Only okay. Four. So you, you've done the first two, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, like uh, you mentioned that it's a it's a medley of two songs. Yeah. Uh, so what's that all about? Oh, you know? I thought it would be something different, um, uh, combining two songs. Like okay. Two. And um, <laughs> what are the titles of your third and fourth song medley together? Um, the third song is called "Should I Be." Okay. Uh, it's all about decision making. Yeah, I've heard, I've seen that on, I think on YouTube, right? Yeah. Okay. And, and, and um, the last song is called Sometimes. Sometimes, yes, I think I've seen that one as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Yeah. But before we actually get to the songs, let's talk a little bit more. I'm sure we have lots of time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Can I excuse myself? Toilet. <laughs> okay. So, you know, and uh, I also understand that you were a, a recording artist previously. And I don't know if you want to talk about your career with with um, the record label when you you were with in the past. No, I never really got signed up with anyone. I see. Yeah, uh, we nearly did with Warner Chapel or something, but uh, we did. Warner, we did, yeah. We didn't really. Uh, Wa- oh, Warner Chapel, the publishing, you mean? Yeah. The, okay. Yes. So um, it didn't really happen, and I think the following year is when right. we actually uh, went separate ways. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right, because right. like two of them went to study over abroad mm-hmm. or something. Yeah, it's like pretty difficult. <laughs> to okay, and I guess um you you do work in the day. You this, you're, you, this is oh not yeah, your career. Oh yeah, I work right? in NUS. Oh okay, Don't shout ask out. Ask me where <laughs> exactly <laughs> which faculty. <laughs> okay, big shout out for them as well. <laughs> I won't repeat those three. <laughs> <words>. <laughs> I don't know. You probably got some under some obligation thing, right? Yeah, for them. Oh yeah. Okay, so yeah. yeah, I work at NUS. Okay. <laughs> cool, cool. So basically, if you had a chance, would you want to make music, uh, you know, a living, you, you know, your 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 livelihood, um, or do you feel like as many musicians, including myself, that we need to face bread and butter issues, and we need to actually, you know, um, weigh the pros and cons? I guess um, if the opportunity comes, why not? So mm. that'll be my answer. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. If, if that, the big opportunity comes. Mm, that's good. Okay. And when do you expect your album? Uh, what's it going to be called? And when do you expect it to be completed? Uh, that one, I'm not too sure. You want okay. to say, Mister Arranger? Yeah, yeah Mister Arranger. <laughs> the well, right, right now, right now, uh, we in the midst of recording, is it? Okay. Uh, but we we doing the recordings of the drum recordings and all that. Mm. Uh, so I don't know when uh, I mean, but we I'm I'm targeting more on the maybe sometime next year. Okay. Yeah, okay. to finish everything. So maybe hopefully by you know sometime next year, then we'll come yeah. out there. So okay. so you be ar- you're arranging the album and you're producing it as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I don't know how do you I, I I don't know what's the what what's the what what, what is actually producer do well, what yeah, is producer yeah basically to like listen to the artist and feel whether a particular sound tone feel lick solo fits Aye. the song and what how the overall arrangement which is basically a couple of steps up you know something like that uh. yeah. but I, I but or are you working with an established producer? On your own outside, or you know, there are there are a few out there who actually you know. Mm, yeah, I'm I'm wi- I'm actually recording with the uh, with this uh, TNT. So oh TNT yeah, yeah and and yeah, he, and uh, yeah I'm actually working with him in a way la. So mm. uh, yeah. so we'll see how it goes. La. I mean uh, I haven't I haven't really fully uh, worked yeah. with him full uh, personally as yes. in like you know full time kind of stuff. You see. Mm. Yes, so I know. I know. We, we, we boy. Doing, yeah, we just d- we we just doing a majority of the recordings on the drum recordings. Yeah, mm. down there. So right. Yeah, so we'll see how. Uh, I mean, it's like maybe he can help us out. You know that. Yeah, also. yeah. Our boy is. I've known our boy for like, well, my God, how many years now? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's he's he has good input from time to time. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. He's he more of a um, recording engineer than a producer, but yeah, he has got some good input uh, from time to time. Yeah, yeah he gives a lot of good yeah. advice also in a way. Yeah, that's why I see. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and and uh, he is basically coming from the rock uh, vein, so to speak. So he knows, you know. He really knows what he's he's talking about, you know. Yeah, th- that's why I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's good you guys made the right decision, I guess, to, <laughs> to record there. Yeah, and it's a big. Mm-hmm. So 
But you still don't know how long, how far along you're coming and and how long we can expect this album. Because I will, I for one am very interested mm-hmm. and looking forward to to the album release. Okay. And yeah. Yeah, we. we I. I'm. Okay, then I'm you'll be the first to know that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Because yeah. the thing is that right, right now uh, we 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 more on the we have a little bit of a problem lah because okay. of the because okay. of the budget issue okay. and okay. constraint and all that. So right, right, yeah, right. once once we once we get it, once we get some of the budgets and all that, Sorted so out, we yeah. will go to the studio and, okay, cool, and just fix yeah. it up. That's yeah. good. That's good. Yeah. Okay. That's about it. Lah. I mean. <laughs> and and all these songs uh, again. This is a question for both of you. All these songs that you've played tonight, and some of the other stuff I heard on SoundCloud and on 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 YouTube, mm. are they going to be a p- uh, on the album or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, it's, it's going to okay. be in the album because we we already plan to record all the songs. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so which I I can immediately you know I was just uh, I remember once sending you a message I think through either Facebook or something you know what you know, you got great songs and great potential. Uh, with the songs, uh, you know, the the first two songs that you played, uh, you played, you know, tonight here tonight, definitely a, a hit material. <laughs> uh, it's just, I guess, how you're gonna market it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. and uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah that oh, that yes. that will be that will be our top priority after once the album uh, comes out and all that. But yeah, yeah at the same time, we we're still doing marketing as well. Uh, uh, in the meantime, you see. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, but I mean, once the album starts to come out and all that, so it's gonna be like full fledged marketing and all that. Yeah. And and maybe live tour or something. <laughs> maybe what? Sorry. Live tour or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can <laughs> you can do that. What kind of markets are you looking at? I mean, in in, in Singapore, Malaysia. Maybe Indonesia as well. Uh, I was I was thinking of base uh, basically more on the English market uh-huh. because we are playing in English songs, right? Yep. So so maybe like like uh, anywhere that that as I would get that appreciates English music, right? So yeah, that will be the the, the our our target audience and all that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it's gonna be a big challenge, but yeah, it is, you know. but it's not insurmountable, you know, because um, uh, I did I did this gig in Jakarta. Mm. And I speak absolutely atrocious Bahasa. Let me tell you, <laughs> <laughs> not really. But uh, the thing was, and I sang in English. But uh, yeah, they actually got the vibe of it, and and you know, and um, they they enjoyed the set. I I did, and mm. so you know, it's it's never say never, I guess. Yeah, of course, yeah. Of course. Yeah. I mean, we 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 willing as long as they. Yeah. And I know a lot of uh, you know, for example, a band like the Pinholes, they're they're gigging a lot in Malaysia as well. They're they're crossing the the boundaries, the territory. So that I guess you know, opportunities are there. Of course, of course. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's like like I said, like, I mean, it's like more on the you know if if they appreciate our music, then we yeah. will go there. See. Yeah, I mean, this is one of my my frequent saying: good music is good music. So you know, I think you guys have got some some pretty good stuff. Yeah, True. yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which uh, which actually brings us now. Uh, I don't want to keep you guys too long, so I'm gonna move you on straight to song number three <laughs> and song and four. number four. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, quickly, quickly, any last um, you know. Footnotes on these two songs that you want to add before you start, Zarina. Oh, um, footnotes. Well, it's Anything? dedicated to all the viewers out there. Hope you enjoy this. All right, let's hear it for Zarina Zar. <laughs>
path is clear Looking for a new beginning Well, my child theorized Be a doctor, be a preacher Stupid in the box, speedy driven Ballerina who sings in your play
begin to slide And you're losing your mind Things might not be rosy The way you want it to be Hand up for me when you're feeling low Hand up for me when you're feeling down Sometimes Sometimes You got to have a shoulder to cry out When you work at something Everybody, wow, fantastic! That is, yeah, that that was the most memorable song when, uh, that I heard in in SoundCloud and all that. And you know, uh, I certainly hope you guys had a good time on Soft TV here tonight. Yep. Yeah, and uh, you know, and of course, we we still got the guys from Oligarchy here as well. Yeah, <laughs> in the support chamber, and of course, we had the full pledge uh, monkeys a bit earlier on, and um, you know. Before we go, Zarina, one last shout out. Uh, anything you want, you wanna, you know, words of wisdom to the youngsters out there. Shout outs to your friends or anything. And if you have a website or something, uh, that you know that you you want people to know about, where they can actually watch your music and listen to your stuff. Yeah, uh, you can listen to the songs and in SoundCloud, and you can find links, uh, MySpace links, YouTube links down there as well. And uh, to all the aspiring. Musicians out there, continue doing what you love doing, and um, I'm sure you you'll get there. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's right. And of course, thanks um, very much to Soft, oh yes. uh, especially to James and crew, and uh, especially <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Mr. Soft. Mr. And Mrs. I, I Soft. always that's like right. saying that. <laughs> James and Leslie Wu, of course, yeah. And thanks to you, and the host. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah my my pleasure. You know, I was so glad that uh, you know I met you at Green Beats, and you know. And uh, hopefully, I don't know, one of these days, if we have a chance to collaborate and do a duet or something. I know it's probably against what, um, you know, uh, uh, some of someone once told me that you p you probably wouldn't want to do it because y you have your own agenda and your own things, yeah. yeah. So, But, you know, great. Yeah. Because I respect your music. I love your stuff and, and it's good Thank stuff indeed. Much. Yeah. Okay, everybody, that brings us to the end of this edition, the Bumper Tree Band edition of Soft TV, the singer-songwriter edition. Stick around and come back. In the, well, not stick around, but we'll come back in September where we've got another three, maybe four acts coming your way. All right. Peace and out. <laughs>